Peace. This is Monroe Jr. I'll be giving my commentary right after this video. Peace. This is a new day. Built from the ground, broken by legends. A day for our generation to see untold experiences of our blackness, representing a limitless range of identity. Playing kings and queens of our neighborhoods, defeating larger than life forces, trying to flip our world upside down. We stand up on any stage and every screen. A day when black women are boldly the lead character, whether inmates or scholars. We're not a genre because there's no one way to be black. We're writing while black, nuanced and complex, resilient and strong. This is not a moment. This is a movement. We are strong black leads. Today is a great day in Hollywood. Peace, peace, peace. This is your brother Monroe Jr. So as y'all just saw from the video, Netflix is featuring 47 black creators in a great day in Hollywood clip. And uh, photographer Kwasi Austin shot a special future for Netflix showcasing 47 black directors and cr creatives who are behind some of the streaming platforms most engaging and riveting content and the image is highlighted by similar faces such as Ava, Devonay, Spike Lee, Lena Waite, Mike Coulter, Nia Long, Laverne Cox. Tilted a great day in Hollywood, the photo is a remake of the classic Art Kane photo of the Harlem jazz musicians back in the 1950s, standing regu regu regularly in front of a Harlem brownstone. In a video by Lacey Duke that captured this moment was narrated by Stranger Things star Caleb McLaughlin, who says, we stand up on every stage and every screen a day when black women are boldly the lead character, whether inmates or scholars, we're not a genre because there's no one way to be black. We're writing wild black, nuanced and complex. This is not a moment, this is a movement. And the source is on YouTube. So it, it's always interesting when, you know, you see giants like, uh, you know, streaming, digital online platform like Netflix get behind you know black influencers and black publishers and directors and producers you know it's like what's the motive you know uh, I do know recently Netflix fired one of their top executives for using the n-word uh, which I do commend them for because that absolutely should not be tolerated uh, especially when you know white people become complacent around black people thinking it's okay to say that word because they have some black friends who may be uh, are, are ignorant to the history behind that word so uh, but it's like what's the motive you know I not that I can knock Netflix because they see the consciousness of black people rising so naturally they're starting to see an an, an an increase or progress of black people supporting black people right wanting to spend money with black people so naturally them being as huge as they are they want to tap into that market they want to pimp that market right so spike and all of these different influences and producers and directors they have to know that hey even if netflix is throwing some money on their table or they're saying that they can get a sudden certain uh, amount of revenue from the proceeds we must always strive to have our own netflix right so, you know, I, I think that they should use that energy and that power and that co collective uh, talent and resources to maybe get in a back room somewhere and let's see how we can get our own black Netflix popping, right? Where we can put all of our, 
directors, all of our producers and influencers, influencers and actors, all of them. We can promote who we want to promote then when we have our own black Netflix, right? We can promote our Latino brothers and sisters, right? We can put on for whoever we feel has our best interest at that particular time. That's what time it is. So even though I'm not knocking them doing what they do and do your thing, all I'm saying is that's galvanized in the back room somewhere, right? And that's uh, sketch out and map out a plan to have our own black Netflix. But, uh, you know, keep doing your thing, black entrepreneurs. Uh, th there is no limit to what we can do, especially in our unity when we pull our gift skills and talents, right? So, this your, uh, this your brother Monroe Jr. I'm signing out. Peace.